What is up, sis? It's your girl Chloe Yasme back in the cup with another video. What I messed up my hair. And today's video is going to be another hygiene video. Do you feel what I am saying, sis? Because we all know hygiene is the real deal. And we also know that hygiene can be very difficult for some people just because of the fact that they weren't really taught how to take care of themselves. And I'm not gonna say that I didn't really, I wasn't really taught not to take care of myself because I really was. Like we grew up like hygiene was a number one priority, but. But when I started to clean my own self up, I had to learn what works for me. And I think that's a lot of reasons why a lot of people don't know what to do because their parents definitely taught them that hygiene is important. They cleaned them up. They always smell good. But when they started to clean their own self up, I think they just had to learn what worked for them. Because that's what happened to me. My mom always kept me smelling good. I always smelled good when I went to school from a little girl on up. But I started to like want to take my own showers and want to know how to like clean my own self up. So when that happened, I basically just had to like learn how to take care of myself really. Like how to make myself smell good. How to make myself smell as good as when my mom did it. Because you know, your hormones change when you get to a certain age. I remember this one time, <laughs> my mom smelled my hair when I was younger and my mom washed my hair very consistently. Um, I believe she washed it like every other day, every two days. Like she washed my hair like a lot. I think it, there was even a point in my life where I would get my hair washed like every single day. But um, I asked my mom if I could start taking my own showers because I wanted to start taking my own showers and I believe this was in fourth grade. And she was like, okay, but you gotta make sure that you're cleaning yourself because if I smell you a certain way, I'm gonna have you come take showers with me again. So I'm like, okay, so I began to clean myself up and I got at the shower and I don't know how it happened, but my mom is always like a hugging person. She always wants to hug us and kiss us and kiss us on the head and all this different stuff, kind of like my dad did. He would hug us and smell our hair and all this different stuff. So my mom was like, oh, your hair ain't smelling right. So I'm about to start having you take showers with me again. I was like, no, like, please. I do not want to do that. I want to be a big girl. I've always wanted to be very independent, but, um, my mom was very serious on hygiene. She did not want her kids thinking that she's still like that to this day. If she smells you, she's going to say, get your butt in the shower. I'm not playing with you. So I worked very, very hard from that day on to get my hair to smell right. So that's what this video is going to be about. Basically, I'm going to be helping you guys with your hair hygiene. I just feel like hair hygiene is something that a lot, a lot of people struggle with. And... If you don't, that's okay. But I feel like the people that don't struggle with hair hygiene or the people that don't really struggle with like bad smells in their scalp and their hair, they would think that this is stupid, but it's not. Because I have been in stores, I've been in places where I'm like in line and I'm behind somebody or they're next to me and I smell their hair and I know the dirty hair smell because I've had it. And if I didn't take care of my hair like I do, I would smell like that. So basically I wanna make today's video very quick and very simple and easy. I just got out of the shower and I just got done washing my hair. My hair smells 100% lovely. Like, my hair smells very good and fresh. It smells like coconuts and I'm gonna show you guys why. And I'm gonna tell you guys what I use to make my hair smell good. And let's just get started all in all. So the first thing that I wanna say is wash your hair consistently. Even if it doesn't like need to be washed because your hair can go longer, that doesn't mean that you shouldn't wash your hair consistently because smells still creep up. Two years ago, I used to only wash my hair like once a week. It's so crazy, I went through a lot of different phases. I went from washing my hair every single day to every other day to like every three days and then I started doing it like once a week. And that went on for like six months until I started to realize that I didn't want my hair smelling like, you know that nasty scalp smell? I believe it's called like the sebum, like the oils that come up on your scalp. Well, that does not smell too good. It really just stinks to me. So you may be asking, how consistently do you wash your hair? Um, I guess it all depends on the person, but for me, I like to wash my hair every two to three days. And around the third day is when my hair starts to not smell as fresh and I love for my hair to smell fresh. Now I'm not saying that by you washing your hair once a week, your hair stinks, that's not what I'm saying because some people can go a week, two weeks without washing their hair and their hair will not stink. But for the people that do have problems with that, that's what I'm addressing on this video. So basically what I have found that helps with like hair odor or whatever, like scalp odor, is when you get into the shower, just immediately put your head back and let the hot water just run on your scalp for about a minute and a half to two minutes. Yes, I said hot water. Now, if you have like a scalp that'll go crazy if you put hot water on it, then don't do that. Just try to like lukewarm. I don't really suggest cold water. I know that cold water people do suggest for when you rinse your hair and that's okay. But when you first get into the shower and when you're washing your hair, I do suggest the hot or the lukewarm water. So yeah, I immediately just let my hair sit in the water. I just put my head back and let my hair just sit underneath the, um, underneath the shower head and I just let the 
water run all on my scalp, run all on my hair. Um, my problem area with odor like on, is on my scalp. It's never like down here, but it is on my scalp. And it could be vice versa for you. Now, after you get done letting your scalp run underneath the shower head with the hot water or the lukewarm water, you go ahead and you grab your shampoo. Now, with this, I really do suggest using a shampoo that has a very strong smell to it. And you can find shampoos for really, for really, really cheap that smell very, very strong. And I'm going to show you. So the cheapest shampoo that I own has a very strong scent to it. And it is this. V05 Ocean Refresh. I believe that's what it's called. Ocean Refresh with Sea Minerals Revitalizing Shampoo. And this right here is from Dollar Tree and it literally no it was from Walmart so it's cheaper it was only it was only 78 cents or 79 cents and it literally has one of the strongest scents that I know about like with shampoos and the trick is to use a good amount like you can have a strong smelling shampoo but not be using enough and your scalp still don't smell right so a trick that I like to do is once I get done rinsing my hair off with the water or whatever letting it sit I go ahead and I kind of like get my hands and I kind of like drain all the water off of my hair. Then I get my shampoo, whatever shampoo that I'm using. I also love this Dove one right here. It literally smells like amazing and it makes my hair smell great. But the shampoo that I actually used today was this Herbal Essence Hello Hydration Shampoo. And my hair smells like coconuts. It literally smells so good. It just smells like Herbal Essences. This is literally one of my favorite shampoos just because of the fact that it makes my hair smell so yummy. So yes, you can find very, very cheap shampoos that smell very strong and work with it because I've had to do that. So you basically just get your shampoo I like to get not a dime size or a quarter size. I like to get a lot more than that. I kind of like to get a good glob in my hand and then I rub it together and I work it through my scalp. I don't so much focus on uh, uh, the length of my hair yet. I focus on my scalp first and I do that for about a minute and a half to two minutes. So I get in there with my fingers with the um the pads of my fingers and not the nails because that can cause dandruff. So I get in there and I basically just like massage it through, scrub it through and I just focus on my scalp for a while like a minute, a minute, a minute and a half to two minutes. It's very important not to just be trying to get in and get out because that's how your hair ends up smelling bad. I like to really focus on that scalp for a while and then after I get up focusing on my scalp, I get more shampoo, get a good amount, and then I start to get the length. And you also want to put like some time into the length as well. A lot of people don't like that because they feel like it dries out your hair. But as long as you're moisturizing afterwards, you'll be just fine. Don't mind my wet hair, you guys. I just got out of the shower. So it looks very, very, very flat. But anyway, so after you get done washing your hair really like thoroughly, you add a bunch of soap in your hair. Then you want to go ahead and rinse your hair out and let it sit again. Not for as long, but just for like a minute or so. And you just thoroughly rinse it out, rinse it out, rinse it out. And then this is the part where I be having my hair smelling bomb. This is the part that makes my hair smell so good. I section my hair in half. So I have one side over here, one side over here. And then I wash each, each side individually. So I start off with the left or the right side. It doesn't really matter. It's kind of like different every single time. So... I like to wash my hair two to three times. Usually I just go for like the two times, but if I'm feeling like I want some extra freshness, most likely like in the summertime, then I go ahead and I wash three times. But for now, I'm just doing two times because that's usually what I do. But if you do need three times, girl, just go ahead and do it and just moisturize your hair afterwards. So yeah, I go ahead and I split my hair in half. I get my shampoo. And first, I just focus on the on the on um, whatever side that I'm starting off in. And I just get my scalp and I rub my scalp for a while, rub my hair, you know, um, run the shampoo through my hair. And I get it real soapy on this side, so I paid a lot of attention to it. And I do that for about... 30 seconds to a minute and then you do the same on the other side after that you focused on both sides thoroughly and you've gotten both sides smelling super good then you go ahead and you rinse it off again actually I don't rinse my hair like that I actually do it one by one so I rinse off this side and then I rinse off this side and then I go ahead and I put the conditioner in at this point my hair is still sectioned off in half and then I just go ahead and I grab my conditioner whatever conditioner that I'm using at that moment and yes I have used my VO5 conditioner and it still be smelling good I just actually ran out because I was just using it recently but it smells great and it was the strawberries and cream one and my hair be smelling so good with that strawberries and cream bo 5 I promise you it smells so bomb like I'm gonna have to go pick up another one they smell so good and they're super cheap and they actually do work but anyway so you grab any conditioner that you're using and you basically just go from side to side so you start off with the left or the right or whatever and then you just 
put it all through and then you put your hair up and let it sit this is another trick that why my hair smells super good because i let the conditioner sit in my hair also make sure that your conditioner smells very strong don't just be doing the shampoo also do the conditioner because the conditioner is what's going to sit and make it smell so amazing so it honestly doesn't really matter if you have a matching shampoo and conditioner you can use a mitch match like i usually do but just make sure that they are both strong smelling aussie is another brand that's super cheap and it smells so strong i used to only use aussie because that was the only thing that would make my hair smell good but now that i have all these different tips and tricks i can make any strong shampoo make my hair smell good so yes after I get done um, distributing the conditioner on both sides of my hair I just go ahead and put my hair up and let it sit and while it is sitting I go ahead and I just clean my whole entire body when you let that conditioner sit in your hair you're benefiting your hair in two ways number one you're making it moisturized and like soft it always feels so great and silky after you get done letting that conditioner sit and number two you're making it smell much better now I do suggest using conditioner on your scalp some people don't like using conditioner on their scalp because they have very very oily hair and that's why you kind of want to make sure that you're really really scrubbing that scalp so yes I put conditioner all over my hair because I love for my scalp to smell good and my length of my hair so yes I put it everywhere and I let it just sit up there so once I get done cleaning my body and I'm done with everything I go ahead and I rinse out my hair yes I do use lukewarm or hot water most likely it's hot for me because hot water makes my hair smell way better I don't know what it is and that's another reason why my hair did not smell good back in the day because I wasn't using hot water and hot water does make my hair smell amazing I don't know what it does but it just gets rid of the odors like it just straight up wins the fight with the odors like that hot water be fighting them odors baby and they get rid of them too it wins so yeah you go ahead and you rinse off your hair with that hot water also make sure that you're detangling your hair while you're in the shower because it makes it so much easier but that's personal preference ever since i was little my mom detangled my hair in the shower from the bottom on up and that's just something that i love to do i do finger detangle because i have curls and i don't like to damage my curls and when your hair is wet is when it's most vulnerable so i just like to go ahead and finger detangle so after you get done drying off your hair and you're out of the shower now your hair smells very fresh from the shampoo and conditioner now you want to go ahead and put very strong smelling good smelling strong smelling wonderful smelling beautiful smelling products into your hair this is another reason why my hair never really smelled that good because I wasn't using a lot of product in it and I love this line right here I know we all have different hair types so I'm not really sure if this is going to work on you but you know the type of products that work for you so you know what you should be using on your hair but from now on when you go to get your hair products get good strong smelling hair products so i have been loving the main choice line it's like um they're leave-in conditioners this one right here is a leave-in or rinse out and this is a leave-in and they are so amazing oh my gosh i love them so this right here is a leave-in conditioning cream conditioning cream and this right here is in the scent like prickly pear um prickly pear paradise it smells so good it has like a very strong smell it smells like a Bath and Body Works or a Victoria's Secret product. It really does. And this one is a Tropical Moringa. They basically strengthen your hair. I haven't really read it a lot, but they really moisturize my hair. I used it in my hair today. Um, along with along with Miss Jessie's Multi Natural Curls. I love this. It smells so good. Um, it's, it's a strong smelling hair product, but these are just stronger. Um, so yeah, this is the Tropical Moringa. I love it. It smells so good. I really want to get the yellow bottle because that one smells really, really good as well. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I can't even talk. And if you can't use like certain products, use like essential oils also to freshen up your hair. But I love those products right there. I also love Cantu. Cantu is another one that always has my hair smelling so bomb. From the shampoo, from the shampoo, the conditioner, the cream, uh, the sprays, everything by Cantu smells so good. And this right here is one of my Cantu products, and this is the leave-in conditioning cream. This one smells so good. When I tell you guys, I'm so big on just having my hair smell good because that's just my thing. Like I hate having my hair smell nasty. Like if I go to give somebody a hug i want them to know that my hair smells good now i'm not saying my hair is going to be fresh like this every single day because i do put my hair up on the second day and just be leaving it up because once i put it up in the bun it's kind of over with until i wash my hair again uh like this video if you can relate to that but yes i'm really picky with my hair products that gotta smell super super good so whatever hair products that you use make sure that they smell really good and that has really changed my hair hygiene game because you number one just clean your hair to the 100% fullest with great smelling products and then you go ahead and you put a bunch of good smelling products in your hair what do you expect 
forward to smell bomb baby that's what i do that's what i do that's how i do it i love my hair to smell super good so i just put like a bunch of product in it and there are so many products on the market right now that smell so good like it's rare to find nasty smelling hair products not too rare but i'm saying like you have a better chance of finding a good smelling hair product than you do a nasty smelling hair product and that's another thing you want to make sure that it smells good but it's also strong like this the, like the scent is very strong like it'll last now you may be wondering okay how do i keep my hair fresh like the day after the day after the day after if you like to um wear your hair down the next day even after you wash it the first day go ahead and just put more good smelling hair product in it not as much because you don't want to weigh your hair down too much but like re-wet it refresh it and put more product in it but if you like to put your hair up in a bun what i like to do is honestly my hair still smells good on the second day so i just put my hair up and do really nothing to it but if i am doing something to it i just put more good smelling hair product in it and put it up in a bun now i do like to focus more on my scalp so i put like good smelling hair products on my scalp and just put my hair up in a bun and it smells great once again if you can't really use like weighed down products use a very light product along with like essential oils and essential oils smell very 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 good like those smells do not be going away they smell bomb i feel like i have more to say but at the same time that's basically it that's literally all i do to make my hair smell good it's very simple once you start doing it and you start to learn how your hair works and that's basically how everybody has to learn they kind of, they kind of just have to like experiment and that's what i've been doing with my hair and that's how my hair now smells good i can't stand like i couldn't back in the day i couldn't stand how my hair never really smelled good it had a weird scent to it but anyway that is basically everything that i had to go ahead and mention for this video it was very short not really too short honestly i've been talking for a while i'd be thinking it's short until i start editing and i'm like girl you didn't talk way too much what the heck is going on but that is everything for this video today i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope that you guys got some tips and tricks that are really gonna benefit you guys so yes that is it but anyway you're good but just, uh, 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 uh. I'm about to go ahead and head up out of here. Bye!